Before the video starts, I'd like to tag a few people, uh, other fellow fragrance reviewers. If you've done the video, I apologize. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll watch the video. If not, I hope you guys do the tag video. So the first person I'm going to ask the guy is pretty cool. Um, he has a cool uh, wife too. He's an awesome guy. He tells you straight if he likes the fragrance or he doesn't. And it's more from Ozzy Fragrances. So I'll leave his channel down below. Definitely go show him some love. The next reviewer I'm going to tag in this video is Dr. Fragrance. Definitely check his channel out. He has a lot of good content too. And he loves a lot of the of niche fragrance. So he, I'm waiting to see his list. Um, definitely check out my boy Matt from Georgia Gent. He's putting out all kind of content, man. And 100% man, I enjoy watching his videos. He's up and coming too. So definitely show him some love. Your tag, Georgia Gent. And the last but not least is a new reviewer that I recently watched. He followed me before he even did reviews, which is funny. I met him at a few fragrance event. This guy always dressed nice, suit and tie, hair slicked back. I, I gotta get me a suit soon, man. He's gotta help me get suits. He has a great fragrance collection too, which I wanna see his video. And he's gonna be tagged. His name is Scent Memories, uh, his channel, and his name is Dave. So you guys, uh, you guys all been tagged. I hope you guys did a tag video. Take your time and here's the video. Hey everyone, welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm your host Chris. So today I was tagged by Big Beer Business. I'm gonna leave his channel down below, his YouTube fragrance channel and his family YouTube channel. Definitely show them both some love. Go subscribe to him. So he tagged me. So I have a fragrance uh, tag collection video, something like that. So I'm gonna go over about 13 questions. Uh, we each has a different fragrance in it. So let's go. So the first one on the list is pretty much it is what is the newest fragrance in my collection. So the newest fragrance in my collection is from the house of Zerzhov, and I just recently started diving in Zerzhov fragrances. It's no other than Zerzhov Kobe. So Zerzhov Kobe, this presentation is beautiful, like I tell you that. Um, the Sony notes in this fragrance is very fresh, very citrusy. In the roll, you're gonna get some oud in the fragrance, and this is awesome. You need to definitely check this fragrance out. If you're a big fan of the roll, you're gonna like this fragrance here. And yeah, this is my recent purchase and I can't complain. I wish I, I wish these came in 100 ml bottles because I would probably wear this as a signature scent. So I gotta use it wisely, but yeah. My newest purchase is Zerzhov uh, Kobe. Second question is what is the oldest fragrance in my collection? Oh man, you know, I have so many fragrances. Um, when I first started doing my YouTube channel, um, I bought this fragrance off of a lot of people enjoying it. It's, it's fresh, it's soapy, it's clean. It's no other than Mugler Cologne. This one here is a song that I, went through a lot in this bottle, got like what, 20% left. This is a something so dumb rich if you want to call it. You just spray it and go. I like it, I enjoy it. It's fresh and clean if you aren't really into fragrances. If you feel like, you know what, I don't want to wear a heavy pronounced fragrance out in public and this one is fresh and clean. And I remember the first time I got this, like I used a lot of it like for work and going out places and people just tend to like it. Most people say, hey, you smell fresh, you smell clean. You, you smell like very soapy, like, and it's nice, it's something that, you know, it's nothing that's going to break the bank because you can get this at discounts for about 50, 60 bucks for a 100 ml bottle and you can spray it on yourself, spray it in your car, use it as an air freshener or in the house. So this is my oldest fragrance from my collection, Mugger Cologne, definitely check it out. What is my most expensive fragrance in my collection? So this one here, I have a lot of expensive fragrance in my collection. I'm not trying to bag it, I just have a lot of expensive fragrances, but this is the most expensive one I bought for retail, not discounted. I bought it like, couple weeks when they were pre-ordering them and I, I smelled the fragrance at an event no other than Creed Aventus Cologne yeah I smelled this at an event I was invited to a Creed event um, they were like hey come out to the event try the fragrance out so me Steven Carlos uh, Max Forte um, a bunch of other fragrance reviewers out there we went to the event and tried this out for the first time it was really cool and I enjoyed it and I didn't buy it that day because then it had the 50 million at 100 mil but then Two or three weeks later, they had a pre-sale at the Creed uh, website, and I bought a bottle. And now I regret it because I'm almost gone. I'm empty. I should have bought a hundred mil. I'm probably going to buy a hundred mil bottle of this backup because it smells so good. It's fresh. It's clean. Opening with the citruses and the mandarin, and there's some there's a note of mint in there, but it's not listed as a note. This one's great. I know some people like Aventus, the original one. That's fine and dandy, but I love this one the most. I went to that much juice in a in a bottle of a three hundred twenty-five dollar bottle, so. This is for retail. Now it's discount, I know. But yeah, this is my most expensive fragrance in my collection. Creed Aventus Cologne. The next question is, what is my most affordable fragrance in my collection? I have a lot of affordable, cheapy fragrances, I guess you want to call it. But this one I recently got, it has great performance, great longevity, and it's about the range of 25, 30, 40 bucks um, on discounters. So there's no other than Azaro Porum Ginger Lover. 
This one here is awesome. I know a lot of other viewers have talked about it. I was very curious. I bought myself a bottle off of Fragrance X. This is a sponsored video, but I bought it from them for about 25, 26 bucks, and I love it. It's everything you need. It's, it's, um, it's ginger, AKA ginger lover. Um, it's fresh with the citrus in it. It has some, a little bit of vetiver, a little green vibe in it. And this is great for like 25, 30 bucks. My projection is very different. Other people might get, I get about a solid two hours or so, and longevity about seven, eight hours, and I love this one. This is a great fragrance to wear anytime. Um, if you like Lisa the wrong old team, you're definitely gonna like this one minus the rose, but definitely check this one out for 25, 30 bucks. It's not gonna break the bank. If you don't like it, you can always resell it and probably get your money back. But yeah, this is a very affordable fragrance. Definitely check out this and the whole line. So, Zorro Perum Ginger Lover. What is my Dumb Reach fragrance in my collection? So this one here, I like this one a lot. I wear it whenever I want, even though I know I shouldn't wear it in the fall and winter, but it just makes me happy, feel great, has some lime, has some rum. No other than from the House of Crete, Virgin Island Water. This one's great. If you guys haven't tried this one, very tropical, lime, coconut. This one's great. This is something that if you want to remind yourself of the holidays or vacation time, this is a great tropical fragrance. If you're going to Hawaii, Florida, laying on the beach, hanging out with a cocktail or uh, adult beverage, this is an awesome fragrance to have. And it just reminded me of going to the beach, summertime, just enjoying life. So I spray it whenever I feel like I just want to wear something. And I don't really care what people say. I mean, guess what Dumber is for? Wear what you want to wear. This isn't going to offend anybody. Either people are going to really like it, or they're going to say, wow, you smell very uh, tropical or very coconut today. So it's not nobody's going to be offended. So definitely check out Creed Virgin Island Water. You won't regret it. It's what is your favorite design fragrance from your collection, like design bottles. So this one here, I'm going to show you the whole presentation. That's how amazing it is. It's expensive, so please keep that in mind. It's a niche fragrance from the House of Zerja. Look at this presentation. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that inside. And this is no other than Zerzhov Renaissance 1861. I, I tell you, this is just beautiful. There's nothing that not to say about this fragrance. It's just this whole bottle from the top of the presentation of the cap to the writing of Zerzhov on the side. The top of the sprayer has the X for Zerzhov. The beautiful presentation. You can see the juice and just the whole design. It's just beautiful. The whole presentation from the bottle to the box is amazing. So if you're looking for something that's very elegant, very high class, and a beautiful bottle, and a beautiful fragrance overall, definitely check out Zerzhov 1861 Renaissance. I'll leave a video down below. I did a full review on this one. Definitely check this out. You can pick it up at, um, um, see, Perfumology, Lucky Scent, Zerzhov website. Check out a bunch of places you can pick this up. I enjoy this one a lot. I picked up my bottle at Perfumology. I'll leave a website down below. Yeah, this is a beautiful bottle. So Zerzhov, 1861. What is the biggest bottle I have in my fragrance collection? So I don't have a lot of really big, big bottles. Most of them are either 100 mil or 50 mil bottles. I don't have anything gigantic big. But anyway, the biggest one I have I can go to is Davidoff Cool Water Intense Auto Perfume. So this is a 125 mil bottle, 4.2 ounce. And it's big with the cap, so the cap makes it a little bit bigger. So I'm going off how big this is from the bottom. But this one's nice too, the big bottle. Check this one out, it's about 30, 30 or 40 bucks online. Sometimes it might be up 50 bucks on discounters, but definitely check it out. It's not like the original, very different. It opens up with a little bit of citrus with the mandarin, then it turns into some coconut, and then there's some type of sweetness with the amber. So and there's some, and I feel like there's some tonka sweetness in it, but this one's really nice. And there's not a wrong time when to wear this one. I mean, maybe not in the dead of summer, maybe, but maybe. I would say spring, fall, and winter. It is a powerhouse on me. It's a beast mode projection. Now, some people say don't get beast mode. I get very heavy beast mode projection. I do about two or three sprays and it lasts me good. I get well over eight hours on my skin. And for a $30 to $40 fragrance isn't bad. I mean, this isn't the original one. So if you're looking for the original one, just buy that one. This is more of a, a younger, youthful, sweet fragrance. This isn't one that you would want to wear, like dressed up with a suit and tie. I wouldn't wear this one. But Wear the fragrance when you want, have a good time. Definitely check out Davidoff Cool Water Intense Auto Profile. The next fragrance is the smallest fragrance bottle I have in my collection, pretty much. So this one here is from a house that most people probably don't know about. You know, it's not like the hypest fragrance brand, but I like this one. You definitely need to check it out. It's from the house of Mono Giovinovis, and this is Immortal. 
Immortal, let me tell you some of those in this fragrance. You have clove, you have cinnamon, you have brown sugar, you have benzoin, sandalwood, patchouli. This one here is awesome. I, my girlfriend would say it smells like a, um, a bakery. It's just like a really sweet bakery or you're baking goods. Very really sweet vibe. Uh, the cinnamon comes out gorgeous and you're just going to remind yourself of a very sweet um, fragrance. Um, now, can guys wear this? Yeah, I wear it all the time. Will it lean feminine? Well, if you don't like sweet fragrances, then yeah, I would say it leans feminine. But I like this one a lot, and I do wear it, and people around me do like it. I've never got any negative feedback. Most people say, oh, you smell nice, you smell sweet, nothing nothing over the top. But they do catch with this, and they say, wow, I like that one. And then I tell them, they've never heard of it before. So if you're in the mood for something sweet, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, some patchouli, sandalwood, definitely check out. Monology of Venibus and Mortal. I'll leave the link down below. You can go to the website and buy it, or they have samples and bottles at perfectmology.com. This is where I bought my bottle at, so definitely check this one. It's the smallest bottle I have in my collection. I like the, I like the beautiful presentation too. So, what fragrance has the best memory associated with? So, this fragrance is cool, which um, I had smelled the, the old versions of them at his house and I told him that they had a new version coming out. He was had to get it. I was had to get it. He couldn't get it from overseas. I had to order it from a seller that was that bought bottles overseas. The fragrance in other end by Christian Dior, one of my favorite brands, Dior Homme Intense. So this one here is very special to me because I told Stephen from Red Lessons about this fragrance. I'll leave his channel down below. Go subscribe to his channel. He's been doing it for almost seven, eight years on the platform. You should know who he is by now. Um, anyway. Me and him had done a lot of fragrance videos together. I've been very blessed and thankful to work with him on his channel and my channel. So I got this bottle. I told him about it. He ordered a bottle, I think, the next day after I ordered my bottle or the same day. I forget. Nevertheless, this fragrance, remember, because he got the fragrance, I got it. And then I did a review. He did a review. Then a week later, we did a battle between this one here, Dior Homme Intense, versus Valentina Umo Intense. And it was cool. I'll leave the video up here if you want to watch it later. And it's a special moment for me because... Every time I hang out with Steven, I learn so much about fragrances that I didn't learn before and I get so much happier and so much passion with it and it just, it makes me more happy with my life and be able to talk about fragrances that I enjoy in my collection and every minute I spend with him, it's just, it makes me happy. There's some days where I'm not as happy as I want to be in life, but man, when we sit down and talk about fragrances, we can go hours and hours. My Literally, my girlfriend has to say, hey, we got to go home and it is what it is, but we filmed a few videos in Philadelphia when we did this here and every time I spend time with Steven it's just I have a great time learning about fragrances he loves making videos his channel and my channel we can go to fragrance stores for hours and try out new fragrances so oh this fragrance will always be a memory of my my heart spending time with Steven and learning more about Dior Homme Intense so thank you Steven I appreciate everything you've done for me man and God bless you and your family so Dior Homme Intense what fragrance was worth the hype so, a lot of reviewers liked this fragrance and some didn't like it just because another fragrance came out before it, which I don't want to talk about. Nevertheless, this one here is Creed Viking. This one here is awesome. I mean, some people like it, they gave it hype. I gave it hype. I mean, I hyped up a little bit, but people liked it before I even was doing reviews. And then when I got a chance to know the Hebrew took, I was like, oh my god, I need a spot on my collection. I couldn't afford the $500 price tag, but later on I had got a discounter, gray market, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I got it for about 180, 190 on Fragrance, uh, Fragrance Net, and I love it. I mean, I have a whole lot of juice, thankfully, but if I run out, I'm buying a 100 ml bottle. No questions asked. 100 ml bottle. This is great. Um, very uh, lemon, Sicilian lemon. There's some freshness in it. There's some bergamot. There's some pink pepper. There's some mint in this fragrance. It's just there's some sandalwood. There's some hazel vetiver. This one here is awesome. I enjoy wearing it dressed up or dressed down. If I wasn't a reviewer, I would wear this at signature scent. No questions asked. Everybody I've been around with had asked me, what am I wearing when I wear this fragrance? Like, oh, I like that. That smells very different. Not like amazing compliments, but like, wow, you smell great. You smell great today. I want to know what that is. I can pick it up. And I know one girl when I was at work was like, wow, I smell roses that off your off your off your scent of your fragrance. She's like, I enjoy that one a lot. Then when I told her the price tag, she didn't she wanted no part of it. But nevertheless, definitely check out Creed Viking by Creed. What fragrance was not worth the hype? So I'm going to probably get about a thousand dislikes for this video alone once I say this. I have the bottle and I'll tell you why after the fact. Nevertheless, it's from the house of Creed, Creed Aventus. So 
let me tell you the story behind it. So I've heard good things about it when I was before I was a fragrance reviewer. I never got a chance to smell it. Couldn't find a Cree Boutique. Later on I became a fragrance reviewer. Um, and I went to a Cree Boutique in New York to try this out and some other Cree fragrances for the first time in my life. So I sprayed it on and it smelled nice. Like I like this one. It's not like I don't like it. People hyped it up like it was the amazing fragrance it was. Now there is a batch variation, so maybe that could be the cause too. I get that. That's a story for a whole nother video which you can probably I can make on my channel, but I don't think I want to. But they hyped this one up, so I sprayed it and it, it was nice. And then like with an hour or two, I, I couldn't smell it anymore. I know people go nose blind to it, so maybe I did. So then I asked my girlfriend, and then I asked my friends, because they were in New York City, and they were like, we can't smell it anymore off of you. And now they went to the Cree Boutique, did about four sprays. I was like one, two, three, four on me. You know, I went kind of ham. And they gave me a sample too, a little sample, a little sample set. And I went home and tried some more, and it smelled good, but it didn't last off of my skin. So I bought the bottle because I got it for about a hundred something bucks um, at OldFactory.com. I leave a link down below. I got it for like one sixty, one hundred sixty one dollars, one hundred sixty four dollars. Um, I'll leave the website down below. Pick up a bottle for it. This is the new batch of twenty nineteen. So you know, I know old batches might last longer. I'm gonna I'm gonna wear the fragrance for a whole week maybe five, seven days and come back with a full review and see if I enjoy it more. But yeah, I liked the Viking more before this came out. People hyped it up. It smells great, but the few times I did work for my sample, I got comments from guys, not ladies. So it is what it is. Um, my worst the worst fragrance that got hyped up, I would say, is Creed Aventus. So it is what it is. What is your favorite from your favorite house? So this one's easy. You guys have been following my channel for a while. If you haven't, my favorite the favorite favorite house is Dior and it's Dior Sauvage EDT or the EDP. This is Dior and there's nothing more I'm going to say about it. I've worn this fragrance since I've gotten it. I'm halfway through the bottle. I met my girlfriend wearing this fragrance here. I was a fan of Dior fragrances when I first started trying out designer fragrances and Dior always separated from the pack and I enjoyed these and their uh, uh, private line, you know, fragrances like Fed Delicios and Ooh That's Behind and um, they have a new one called Lucky. They're, I like your fragrance in general. They're high quality. I know some people say they reformulate stuff or they get rid of stuff. It is what it is. But this is my favorite uh, number one designer fragrance house, Dior. And this is Dior Sauvage EDT. This is the last question on the list here. It is what is your most used fragrance in my collection? So this one here, it's funny. You guys would think it'd be Dior Sauvage or any other fragrance. But now this one here is no other than a fragrance that has flanker after flanker. But I love this one the most. It is Blue Day Chanel Parfum. So this one here, I really need to even go about it more. You guys know about this one. It's fresh, it's clean, shower gel. Very elegant, very fresh, very clean. Anytime, any occasion, dressed up or dressed down. And yeah, I went through about half my bottle. Probably about 50% of my bottle. I'm about here, my finger's at. So, but you know, I gave a sample to one of my subscribers, uh, Jerome a Pusher. I gave him a little sample, he wanted to try it out. But yeah, I went through the bottle pretty much. I think I gave him like a five mil sample, but I went through a lot of this bottle by myself, about a good 45% by myself. But yeah, this one's great and I wear it all the time. I mean, I, I wear this one as a dumb reach to work and people just like it. I mean, it's not nothing that's going to reinvent the wheel because they already invented with the EDT and the EDP, but this one's great on my skin. It lasts longer, smoother, a little bit darker, but nice and calm. It doesn't reach out heavy projection, but when people get next to me or walk by me or the sillage, it's very nice and People know I smell fresh and clean. I'm very thankful for that. So yeah, it's my most worn fragrance in my collection for 2020. Crazy. As a reviewer to have used about 50%, 45% of this is crazy. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching this cool uh, fragrance tag video. Um, if you like these type of videos or you like my channel and you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, I appreciate you show your support by clicking the red subscribe button and hitting the like button, leaving a comment down below. I have over 600 fragrance videos on my channel. I'll leave the web, all my videos down below. I hope you see something you like and I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and I'm gonna put out more content as much as I can. I hope everybody stays safe uh, during this, cr this critical time in our life. I care about every single one of you guys, from the guys to the women and the kids. Just be safe out there and I'm gonna try to push my goal to uh, 10,000 subscribers hopefully. So if you guys want to show your support, help me out anyway, no money at all, just click the subscribe button. Uh, thanks for watching another fragrance video. I'll see you guys in the next one.